friends, Thor Dykow back with you. It's this week on Blu-ray and DVD. I was off last week, so I've combined the last two weeks of Blu-ray and DVD releases into one giant package. And here we go, starting things off with Jack the Giant Slayer. Brian Singer directs this one, and Nicholas Holt plays Jack in this classic retelling of Jack and the Beanstalk. Get a look. Are these your books? My father used to read that to me. I like a good adventure. I'm looking for an adventure of my own. What? Am I dead? Not just yet. Ah, uh, yes, great casting this one as well with Ewan McGregor providing some laughs. I really enjoy the look yes, of this film. Oh, you can't go wrong with Ian McShane either. A lot of interesting twists and turns in it. The special effects were great. I appreciated the writing. There's a thrilling scene where the beanstalk sprouts up and uh, takes Jack into the clouds there. And I really liked how they um, sort of brought the giants to life. And Bill Nye is actually the motion capture and the voice of the head one. So I really enjoyed this one. It's one that the whole family can enjoy. And um, I thought that they embodied the spirit of the giants really well. Well, and sort of brought it to the forefront of a modern audience. Not a total classic by any means, but I think this one took a lot of people by surprise. Jack the Giant Slayer. It's a lot of fun and a lot of great uh, action and uh, some humorous moments in it as well. Speaking of comedy, Burt Wonderstone, the amazing, the incredible Burt Wonderstone, I should say, starring Steve Carell, Steve Buscemi, and Jim Carrey. And this is about rival Los, Ange Las Vegas magicians who basically team up and go against Carrey, who's a sort of Chris Angel mind freak-esque street performer and he's giving them a run for their money. Check it out. You're Rance Holloway. I had your magic kit as a kid. I'll give you your money back. What you're feeling right now, that's why you became a magician. How did you do that? It's partially deboned. <laughs> Yes, the we classic sort of Alan Arkin in this one. Uh, this one is not a total home run, uh, but it is a sweet and innocent comedy, and it's got a lot of charisma thanks to Carell and Buscemi, who are quite quirky. And it's one of Carrie's best funny roles in years because he kind of brings back that rubber-faced side of him that we miss, uh, you know, his old-school antics, so to, so to speak. But the jokes don't always hit the mark. It could have used a better script. Um, but with these three guys in tow, it's uh, pretty funny stuff. And Carrie nearly, nearly steals the show as this Chris Angel-type character. He's just completely over the top. There he is spending a night. Um, you, you know, you've seen people walk on hot coals, but he decides to <laughs> spend the night on the hot coals. It's got some moments, not a total winner, though. So you might want to check out the incredible Burt Wonderstone, but don't keep your expectations up too high. Okay, next, we're going to also keep in the comedy vein of things, Movie 43. Now, you want to stay away from this one, okay? It had a lot of potential because you've got all these stars in one film coming together. I can't even list them all, but Hugh Jackman's in here, Richard Gere, um, uh, Justin Long, Kristen Bell, Johnny Knoxville, Uma Thurman, Halle Berry, and uh, Terrence Howard, who you see here. It's an outrageous and daring comedy that has a bunch of people in these different skits. So it's all these inappropriate storylines, uh, including a crazy blind date. Um, the Yeah, I can't even show you some of the ones with uh, Hugh Jackman because it's just outrageous. But uh, the jokes really, uh, in a couple of these skits, they really work. Other than that, it was just really uh, poorly done, tasteless humor that doesn't go anywhere. And frankly, I'm surprised that a lot of these A-listers and Academy Award winners would agree to do this project because it's just ridiculous. It's like a bad episode of Saturday Night Live. So don't check out Movie 43. I think it was an interesting experiment to bring all these different directors and uh, crew and, and cast together in one film, but it does not work. I would say two of those uh, vignettes worked and were funny. Other than that, total pass. Okay, moving right along, we're going to talk about 21 and Over. This is from the writers of The Hangover, and uh, it's about a guy who's celebrating with his buddies, of course, because he's turning 21. They take him out for a night on the town, but he's got a very important medical school interview the next day, and the big question is, will he make it? Check it out. Where's my son? Well, we watched Cold Case, made paninis, and then went to bed. Jeff Chang's dad is gonna honor kill him. I said an awesome idea. You sure this is the right address? How are we gonna get him down? We're gonna throw him off. What? No. I've done this a thousand times. <laughs> You know what, I, I know I shouldn't like this movie, but, but it really is very funny thanks to Miles Teller, Justin Chong, and Skylar Aston. Yes, it's like The Hangover meets Animal House, but these guys are so charismatic, and the story takes some really funny twists and turns. I couldn't help but uh, chuckling to myself. It's just full of debauchery and a lot of fun. It's got something for every teen boy, and uh, you know any, any outrageous party animal is going to really enjoy this movie. And thanks to the charismatic trio of leads, something about it works 
even though on paper it shouldn't and it feels like a carbon copy of many comedies, they really hit the mark on a few of these scenes. So I actually can recommend 20 and over. It's a 21 and over. It's a nice guilty pleasure. Okay, next we're going to talk about The Call starring Halle Berry. And in this one, she plays a 911 operator who gets a call from Abigail Breslin and she's panicked because she has just been kidnapped. And there's a bit of history with Halle Berry's character, but uh, it's a personal call that really hits home. Now this one, unfortunately, in the third act takes some bizarre turns that really um, strain credulity, shall we say. However, yeah. Abigail Breslin and Halle Berry bring great performances to this one, very gripping, and there's actually some great tension that mounts throughout the film until it gets to that sort of disastrous third act where it kind of falls apart. But the call has some redeeming qualities. It's really well shot. It's got good acting from everyone involved. Also, Morris Chetna Chestnut provides a pretty good um, supporting role in this one. But it does take a strange turn in this one uh, that I didn't really care for. A twist ending, uh, I shall say. But it is worth a watch, the call, because Abigail is great in it, and Hallie brings some intensity. So you can check that one out for you if you like the old psychological thriller. Finally, we're going to leave you with my hidden gem of the week. This is called No. It's a foreign film starring Gail Garcia Bennell. It's the true story of a marketing campaign that sparked a revolution. Let me set you up for it. In 1988, Chilean military dictator Augusto Pinochet, uh, bowing to international press pressure, called a plebiscite on his presidency. So the country voted yes or no for Pinochet extending his rule another eight years. Um, Gael Garcia Bernal plays the leader of the no campaign. He's an advertising executive who gets the call to join the campaign. He spearheads it and against all odds and under a lot of scrutiny, uh, scrutiny uh, behind the government and the military there. He comes up with a plan to win the election and set Chile free from opposition. The movie is, is shot in 1988 style, so it's, it's shot like on video. So it looks like you're watching a VHS film, but I like that about it. It really captured the look and the feel of what was going on at the time. Fascinating to watch because it is based on a true story, and I love Gail Garcia Bernal in anything. So this is a very interesting film. The uh, Blu-ray and DVD features include commentary from Gail and the um, uh, director, and a Q&A with the lead actor as well. So it's very cool. Check out No, one of my uh, favorites uh, in the last little while in the foreign category. That's it. A entirely mixed bag and a lot of great things to choose from and some duds. I'm Thor Dicow. Check me out on Twitter at Thor Dicow. I'm here each and every week bringing you all the new Blu-ray and DVD titles on breakfasttelevision.ca.